People go from completely fine to completely freaking out underwater. I mean, like that. Rely on your dive partner just as much as you rely on your own decision making. Hey, my name is Martin Gramatica. I was a uh, professional kicker for about 10 years. I will be diving at the aquarium with sharks, which I never thought that I would do that. Uh, my name is Andrew Kambersky. I'm a U.S. Air Force combat controller. We're the smallest special operations force in the Department of Defense. But every combat controller is combat dive qualified, Army free fall qualified, all those advanced courses. Going through combat dive school, we call it the great equalizer because you can see some of the most physically fit individuals in the world seriously struggle underwater. Because it's a whole different realm. I'm Dr. Deborah Luke, and I am the Senior Vice President of Conservation here at the Florida Aquarium. Many of our guests have never seen an ocean, don't know what lives underneath the ocean. So this allows people to come and grow an appreciation for that so that in turn, they then can do something to help conserve this part of our world. It's really enjoyable for me working with professional athletes because I see a lot of similarities between professional athletes and then the special operations community and even just the military in general. And being part of a team and having a task and purpose you want to trust your teammate that you're with, that he's not just going to abandon you if you get into trouble and vice versa. I hate when people say, you know, as a, as a team, we're going to war, we're going to battle, because these guys, what they do is life and death. What we do is a sport. You're going to be placed into situations where you are extremely uncomfortable, but you do it because you care about the guys around you. All right, Martin, so we did the tank yesterday. Uh, you did awesome. We're just gonna change up gears a little bit, really. Still gonna be a controlled environment, but not as much so as yesterday. But at the end of the day, it's we are each other's dive partners and our lifelines down there. How, how you feeling about the dive? I feel like the, uh, the pressure of going underwater is a little different than for me kicking a game winner or kicking a, a field goal because that's what I did uh, my whole life and muscle memory would take over. So sometimes when you're stressed, you can take a deep breath and your body just takes over. Since I don't have the experience diving, I feel like it's going to be a little different because my muscle memory has no muscle memory of, of diving. All right, you're good. good. You know, for me personally, when I go down and see the wrecks like we're about to see today, I think you'll get an appreciation for the sacrifice that's been made for this country. And, and at least when I'm down there, you'll, you'll see me uh, just kind of paying my tributes to, you know, not just this wreck, but, you know, all of the lives lost and all of the sacrifice that have been made. When you play team sports, and I know how you guys value team and, and brotherhood, so I trust you today as a brother, and I will listen to every command you have because I know you're gonna get me up safe. Oh, you'll get it. It's a team, it's a team concept. I know, I know you know that one. When you go see a shipwreck, it has a story behind it, and that was its end. How it ended up here, why it's here, what it accomplished. And you can do that, and that's a really cool thing about diving is it's everywhere. On land, it's something that it wouldn't stay there. Well, for me, being from another country, there's no other way to thank our veterans for the freedoms that we have in this country, because I know what it's like not to have freedoms. And when you talk about the American dream, how can I not thank veterans for giving us that opportunity? 